Go. Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. I'm here in Toronto. One of the big buzz movies here is Foxcatcher, Bennett Miller. You know, once again, you're doing a movie that's based on real people. Mm -hmm. As a filmmaker, does that put more pressure because there's a, there's a true story that you kind of have to tell, but it's not fictitious, that you can kind of go wherever your creative amount wants it yeah. to go? I mean, yes, and especially this story because it's, um, it's a tragic story. And there are many people who have survived it. And I think I mean, for myself, but also for the actors, there's a debt you know, to the families who are cooperating and who are participating and helping us. Um, you you want to honor the truth. And so, uh, I mean, I felt it, and I know that the actors felt it too, that you, you, you want to honor what happened. Now, with Moneyball, you had to immerse yourself in the world of baseball. Mm -hmm. Now you're in the world of wrestling. Right. How much did you know about that? I, I didn't know anything about wrestling. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't wrestling. Wrestling did not draw me into this story other than my outsider's perception of it being a very weird, like, oddball sport. Like, you know, who wrestles? And it's just like, what is that? It just seems like a, it's just a weird kind of, like, subculture cult of, you know, I don't know. Just it just seems it just seems very foreign and weird to me, um, which is also intri intriguing in the story. But as I got to know more about the sport, I, I came to respect it quite a bit. And one of the great attributes, at least for me, for you as a filmmaker, is the nuances of the performances. I mean, going back to every actor that you kind of worked with, there's such a subtlety to what you're doing. And here we see with Steve Carell, Mark Ruffalo, and with Channing Tatum. How do you? Do you like that you want? keep it down, that it's not about flamboyancy at all. Right. And there's just, it's just, there's a lot going on beneath the surface. And um, as we work on these scenes, rehearse the scenes and shooting the scenes, it's, it's just keeping a lot of things in mind and uh, for the actors and because it's really on them. And, um, you know, knowing what's not being said and looking for a way to express it um, inadvertently in, their, in these performances is uh, kind of what the challenge is. I and mean, that's it's, it's sort of the style of the film. And just the last question for you, because there is somebody that is still alive, I don't want to say who, because the movie goes on, do you need to work with the, the, the those people who yeah. are still there? Well, How I mean, sensitive? Many, many people uh, who were integral part of this story are alive and invitations went out to everybody to participate in some way and uh, most did come forward and have something to do with it and it is it is sensitive because this is you know our telling of their story you know and we have to ask them for the trust to do that and to still support us you know with information and, and their blessing for us to go ahead. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. On that note, and this is Scott Orland. Till next time.